What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So today I was out on the kayak for the second time. Tried to get a video together, but the bite was just ridiculously slow. I caught one little dink. But I still wanted to make a video and I decided this would be the perfect time to go over these Dakota lithium batteries that I've been fishing for the last month and a half. I never feel comfortable making a review video unless I've truly used the product. I like to push my tools to their breaking point to see their weaknesses, their strengths, what I like, what I don't like, and to give it enough time to really allow it to give me some sort of issue. So like I said, I've had these lithiums for over a month and a half, probably 20 trips worth of fishing, and that was also on the trip with me down to Florida and fished with Eric, and then one day we had Lawson in there, and basically those three days of fishing, these batteries were pushing my trolling motor through some of the thickest Florida grass you could imagine, and they never gave me any issues, so I feel comfortable making this review video on these batteries. And we're gonna compare them to the deep cycle lead acid batteries that I had before. First, I wanna fire off five advantages that lithiums have over lead acid batteries, and we'll get deeper into these over this video. First and foremost is gonna be weight and size. Second is gonna be the drastic difference in power loss. Third is gonna be that they're longer lasting. Four is that they're quicker charging, and then five, there's zero maintenance. Let's take a look at the two different batteries that we're gonna be comparing. I'm gonna share with you guys the lithium batteries that I've been using for the last month and a half, and we're gonna talk about the differences between the two. All right, so first off, let's talk about the size and weight of these batteries. I really don't think that I can lift this 29DC Everstart with my thumb like this, but these Dakota Lithiums are ridiculously light. We're gonna throw them on the scale, see the difference in weight, and I'll show you guys the difference in size. So I use two of the 54 amp hour, 12 volt batteries from Dakota Lithium now to power my motor guide. It's an 80 pound thrust, it's a 24 volt system, and honestly, I haven't even experienced any power loss with this thing. But before we get into that, let's weigh these two batteries, figure out how much weight I took out of the boat, and then we'll keep moving. As you guys just saw, the lead acid batteries were 62.6 pounds, and I needed two of them because I have a 24 volt trolling motor, so that comes out to a total of 125.2 pounds. And when I switched to the lithiums, they're only 16.2 pounds each, and that comes out to a total of 32.4 pounds for the both of them, meaning that I shaved 92.8 pounds out of the John boat. So if you fish out of a smaller boat, whether it's a John boat or a kayak, canoe, whatever it may be, you know that weight is one of the biggest factors in speed, stability, and just being safe overall. So being able to take almost 93 pounds out of the boat makes it ride so much better. Not only do I get a little bit faster, I think it helped me gain like a mile and a half. Where it really made a difference was during tournament day when Ace and I fell up the live well. Before with the lead acid batteries, we were only going about 14, 15 miles an hour. Now with the lithiums, we're sticking around 18, 19. So it made a really big difference and being able to have that little bit of extra speed really does help throughout the day. Not to mention if you need to move these batteries around, like if you tow your John boat around in the bed of your truck or something like that, you need to constantly be taking the batteries in and out of the boat. Uh, the lithiums are ridiculously easy to move. I can literally lift that thing up with one finger, whereas the lead acid batteries, definitely not gonna happen. So let's talk a little bit about the power and longevity of that power. So with your standard lead acid deep cycle battery, you don't ever really wanna take that capacity down below 50%. So you charge it up to 100, you bring it down to about 50, and then you really wanna recharge it again before it goes below that. If it goes below that number, or if you drain it completely, it's never gonna recharge back to 100%. And then the longevity of that battery's life is just gonna quickly dwindle. Whereas the lithiums can be drained down to, I think like the safe number is 20% from the little bit of research that I've done. But over the past month and a half, I've been using it during tournaments and just long days of filming, whether that's 12 hours or a trip or whatever it may be. Um, I've gone a couple of different occasions where I've fished two days in a row and experienced zero power loss. So another thing with the lead acid batteries is once they get below a certain threshold, it basically gives the trolling motor no power or you lose like half of your top speed. 
the lithiums keep giving you consistent power all the way down until they have like two percent so it makes a really big difference if you're going on big trips or you have super long fishing days and it's something that's going to keep you at ease when you're out on the water not having to worry about losing any power so one thing i will say that i wasn't a big fan of with the dakota lithium batteries are the chargers so you guys can see this is what we're working with the only thing i don't actually like are these little tiny alligator clips that are supposed to go and hold on i feel like they just slip off all the time and it's a real pain but you can change these out to rings or bigger clips or whatever you need to do i just haven't gotten around to doing it yet but the charger itself isn't bad so it's like an inverter for your laptop or tv or something like that but you need to use this charger not this one specifically but a lithium battery charger to give it its full power because a normal lead acid battery charger isn't going to give it enough voltage these batteries have a resting voltage i want to say it's 14.5 hang on Okay, when I checked this earlier, it said 14.5 when it was fully charged. So that's what I'm going to go with. I could be wrong, but also shout out to Dakota for sending me this power box. This thing is pretty sick. That was a nice little surprise. But yes, yeah, so these batteries are going to have a higher resting voltage opposed to the lead acid batteries, which are going to be a bit lower. So the chargers are not designed to charge them above that. You can still use them. It might hurt the lifespan of the battery like over a long time, but I think if you're charging it up to 90%, should be okay. So the other great thing about these Dakota Lithiums is that they have zero maintenance. You don't have to do anything. Once you have your wiring all set up and you crank them down, just make sure they're super tight. That is one thing I was told. Make sure those terminal posts are screwed down super tight, but that's it. You don't need to check water. You don't need to refill it. You don't need to worry about it tipping over and making a mess or ruining the battery. Nothing like that. Now for what everybody wants to talk about, the price of lithium batteries. Yes, it is high. But I did a little bit of math and I realized that it's not as bad if you look at it over a long period of time as you'd think. The 12 volt 54 amp lithiums are sold as a set for 24 volt trolling motors, anything 80 pounds and under. And the pair of these are $949. So I know that has a little bit of shock value to it. You're almost paying $1,000 for two batteries as compared to the Everstarts that I got from Walmart for $100 each, so it's 200 bucks. But if you think about it, the deep cycle batteries are gonna to need to be replaced every two to three years. And the deep cycles also have 400 cycles of uses and charges. So compared to the lithiums, it's a little bit different because these last a lot longer. I think they say they last about five years, but they have 2000 cycles. That's a lot of fishing. It's a lot of time on the boat. And on top of that, they offer an 11 year warranty. So if you looked at it in the long term, say you knew you were gonna fish for the next 10 plus years, which I know I'm going to if all goes well, I'm hoping that if I take care of these batteries and the warranty, just in case something happens, I'll be able to have this set for the next 11 years. So if we were to do the math on that, say I had to replace the deep cycles every two years over the next 10 years, that's going to be a thousand bucks. So 949 versus a thousand. They have zero power loss. They're way lighter, easier to move around. They save me space in the boat and they charge quicker than the deep cycles. It really kind of levels itself out. Now, I know that there are other deep cycle batteries that you guys use and many others use that are way more expensive than just your Everstart Walmart batteries, but this is what I've been using, so this is what I have personally to compare with the lithium. But anyways, I just thought I'd share this video with you guys. I'm really stoked to have these lithiums. Huge thanks to Dakota Lithium for hooking me up. And I fought a little bit for a discount for you guys. If anyone is interested, you can save 10% over at Dakota Lithium. If you click that link down in the description below, use the code SBFishing and you'll save 10% on some batteries. So it's something I'd highly recommend. If you were looking at lithiums and you were still kind of on the fence, do it. It's completely worth it. If you think it's way too expensive, it's no worries. The deep cycle lead acids still work. That's 100% true. They still work. I didn't have too many issues with those. For me personally, it was just being able to take 92 0.8 pounds out of my little John boat and I'm really happy about it for sure and the fact that I'm not gonna have to replace these batteries in another year and a half it just saves me time from going to Walmart but anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm currently getting everything together and packed because this weekend is musky in the mountains heading up to West Virginia tomorrow to meet up with my good buddy Dennis we're gonna be doing a little bit of pre-fishing tomorrow and then the tournament is on Saturday and Sunday so 
I gotta wrap this thing up, edit it, get it out there. But if you guys enjoyed this quick little review on the Dakota lithium batteries, please leave a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to click the link down in the description below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well if you're not already subscribed. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next one.